Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. It's not cold enough outside, so you gotta sit in your fridge. Yeah, I'm warming up here. Cool. What are you guys doing? Are you, is this like a, are you guys rehearsing? Is this a practice? Yeah. Whiskey River, take my man. That's cool. I'm a, I'm a big follower of you guys on Instagram. You know, I think I was follower number 33. Oh, 29. 29, yeah. Uh, that was we're not 33 yet. I put it in my diary. So I was doing some research online um, about mountain girls, and I noticed that uh, a lot of people, um, they say you sound like a lot of bands. So I, I put, I wrote down the top 10, the, the names that kept coming up. Okay. I was, I was wondering, it'd be cool if I if I just went through this list and I could just get your like initial reaction to each band and whether or not they are in fact an influence. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Can I start? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number one, the number one band that kept coming up, the Beatles. Oh, well, yeah. I think it's good. this is the collective. We're all songwriters. That's, okay. that's interesting you said that because Jay is the only one with the Disney Channel and he's watched the Beatles um, the documentary and Nate and I have not been able to see it because we don't have Disney. But I've been telling him kind of everything is going on every step of the way for those nine hours that I watched. Nate and I are big uh, Slipknot fans. And I think you like, you like Slipknot, you love the Beatles. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, number two, number two, okay. the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, we're uh, we're big nah, tambourine. Rolling Stones. Tambourine. See, I could see rock. more. I could see more of that than the uh, actual. Okay. Not the song where Mick is playing two maracas in each hand and singing. Yeah, the the maracas do it with Mick Jagger. All right, number three. There was a tie for three and four. Number three was Led Zeppelin. Okay. And then number four was uh, Queen. Yeah, I would say Queen more than Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Yeah. I found it interesting that actually, like, number five was Black Sabbath. Mm. Oh, yeah. I so, think Black Sabbath would be number one. Well, it's interesting because the top five are all, they're all British, which is really weird to me. Yeah. What's interesting yeah. is, um, we really like that Black Sabbath song, Bits of Finger, and Jay is also missing a bit of his finger. Yeah. Like the, uh, As you might know, Paul. Oh, yeah. Bits yeah. Of yeah. Bits of Finger. I remember I made that Super Bowl joke about eating finger foods, and you you got really offended. <laughs> you remember that? I do remember that. Well, well he, he you, plays organ, and like every third note is just totally off because his little finger slips off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't forwards on the keyboard. That's pretty I good. I thought I'd get an extender for it. Yeah. Like, but the one time I got an extender, it was like a three inch extender, so then I was really messed up. Oh yeah. And you'd hear a little click every time. And you know, it, was like, like, yeah, it, was a it adds like a, a like a, an element to the per percussion. It made right? the black keys easier to play because it was up there already. I got you. Yeah. It's also interesting that I sing with a British accent too. So I think you're seeing some of that kind of come through with our influences. Well, Amy and Drew, who aren't here today, both are British. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that's their cool. Influence, their influence probably permeates. Well, number six was Motorhead. Um, <laughs> Who are also British, yeah. and then number seven was Napalm Death, who apparently are from Birmingham too. So that's that's like the top seven are all English bands. I have to be honest, I've never heard Napalm Death, so maybe they ripped us off. And what are they, Birmingham, Alabama? No, oh, Britain. I have yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say. Uh, number eight was Conway Twitty. Yeah. I thought that was maybe the Kerr. Right. Touch the hand of the man that made you a woman. And tell me you don't love me anymore. Touch the hand of the man that made you a woman. That's all I know. Number nine was Harry Houdini, the magician. That was... That was another big, it seemed like a lot of people were talking about Houdini. That's Nate's, yeah, Nate's big man. Houdini. 
<laughs> yeah, which I thought was weird because everyone was saying like they're musicians, but they're also sort of mag- like magicians. Magicians. Yeah. 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 It could yeah. Have been just a typo too, though. That could have been because some of these some of these websites were pretty shady. When we say that it's like this is a high stakes recording. It's a high stakes performance. Yeah. Can you guys hang on one second? Hang on. Yep. There was a bunch like number ten was a bunch of people like Waylon Jennings. There was a bunch of country stuff. Oh, yeah, a lot of country. I can see that. Yeah, I noticed there were no women on this this list of any bands. The uh, I thought that was interesting. Maybe yeah. you guys should. Maybe we're you guys really, should. We're really influenced by Elizabeth Cotton. And okay. Style. Well, I think you guys need to figure that out. Yeah, Conway Twitty, I'm trying to like Conway Twitty died of cancer, uh, and okay. Harry, okay. Harry Houdini, a fan punched him in the stomach. He had appendicitis. Uh, Lemmy's dead too. A lot of these people are dead. Like Queen, um, two of the Beatles are dead. Um, like some of the Rolling Stones are dead. A lot of these people. Are dead. <laughs> Freddie Mercury's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Mercury's dead. Uh, John Bonham from Led Zeppelin's dead. Um, Napalm Death Roll. Ozzy Osbourne's still alive, apparently. So that's pretty exciting. 